all right what is going on everybody uh, so i'm just going to do a quick video on what i carry in my truck for the winter time since it's starting to get cold here in minnesota so for the most part of the year uh we'll start kind of with my boots um usually i just wear these boots kind of all year round and summertime i'll i'll put on tennis shoes when it's you know really hot out but i use i have these boots on these are from red wing shoes they're just a, a nice slip-on boot they got a composite toe in them so i you know when i'm kicking the tires and everything like that it's not I'm not trying to hurt my feet or anything and they they're waterproof they're leather they come up they're about eight inch eight inches high and then i also wear um, a nice pair of wool socks and then when it starts to get really cold out I'll, i have an, another other pairs of socks that are actually thicker than the ones i have on that way i keep my feet nice and warm and then going up from there so i got my i take care of my feet and then for my my legs i wear these carhartt pants they're nice and thick they kind of help uh, keep the cold air off my legs and then on those days when it gets you know negative 10 negative 20 with the wind chill i have i'll wear long underwear underneath my pants um, just to keep my legs extra warm and that way if for some reason i break down or have an issue on the side of the road and i need to get out you know i don't have to put on any more layers if it's just a quick fix or i'm just checking something um, that way i'm just kind of keeping myself protected and then moving up from there uh, for like a sweatshirt i just i like i just prefer car stuff that's just kind of what i like uh, but any kind of good solid heavy duty sweatshirt brand or clothing brand is is going to do you well um this sweatshirt that i have on today is a is a rain guard or rain defender carhartt sweatshirt so it's not only is it a warm and durable fabric um it'll also protect from the rain so it almost acts like a rain jacket at the same time which is perfect for this time of year with the snow and the ice and everything so if, when i'm coming to work and it's snowing if i get snow on my sweatshirt it'll eventually melt so instead of like a normal sweatshirt where it kind of soaks into your sweatshirt and then your shoulders and your back are wet while you're driving this it keeps all that water and that moisture off of your your shirts that you're wearing underneath and then going up to my head usually i just wear a baseball cap until it gets to be about 10 degrees out and then i'll switch over to my my stocking cap here this is just a, a plain old black fleece stocking cap which works plenty good for for this time of year and around here I don't really plan on sticking outside for too long, but I always wear a sweatshirt that's got a hood on it that'll help break up the wind. And on the really cold days, I'll get uh, either like a scarf or like what they call a neck gaiter to put around my neck uh, if I'm really worried about getting stuck out in the cold. And then moving on to gloves. So for the most part, I just wear, I use these mechanics uh, slip-on gloves. Um, they're like 20 bucks, I think, at like auto parts store. They're not too, super expensive, and I can get usually about a good year out of these gloves. And when they start to get dirty, like every three to four months, I'll take them home, and I'll just throw in the washer with, you know, a regular load of clothes, and it'll it'll clean them up, and it'll actually tighten the, the fabric up a little bit too, because as you wear them, they start to kind of loosen up. But it, if you wash them, they tighten right up so they're like brand new. And usually the only reason I, I get rid of them is because they start getting holes in the fingers here or they, they just kind of get wore, completely wore out. Or like in the backside here in the knuckles, it all kind of falls apart. But I, I like these slip-on ones because they're just super easy to get on and off. And like I said, these are the ones I wear for the most part during the year. And then on the colder days, I switch over to these these leather gloves. So it's like a, a real heavy duty thick leather for the hand part and then it's just got this cloth on the back here it's almost kind of like garden gloves that you would find at like uh home depot lowe's menards if you have them around you um, these are really good for when it starts to get really cold out and then to add on top of those i have these um, wool uh, gloves that i can wear underneath these leather ones so on the days when it's you know like i said negative 10 negative 20 when it's super cold out around here wearing these wool liners with these leather gloves i almost have no issues with my fingers getting cold even with you know finger glove like this versus like a mitten you 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 run the risk of your fingers getting a lot colder faster with these finger gloves just because you have all that that air gap in between there where the air can get through but this combination should do you just fine um on the cold 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 days but if you're really worried about 
the really cold days, um, you could always go even further down that rabbit hole of some really nice thermally lined gloves. But for the most part, it's not that big of a deal, especially for what I do where I'm just dropping and hooking trailers so I don't spend a whole lot of time outside in the cold. And then moving on, this is usually the jacket I wear most nights when it's cold out is my Carhartt jacket. And this one's a, one of their winter jackets or one of their like extra cold weather jackets. So this one will, I usually wear with my sweatshirt when it's negative five, 10 degrees outside. When it gets super cold, I'll, I'll start adding layers. Um, I have long underwear and kind of long t-shirt shirt layers that I'll wear underneath this. And this has lasted me. I've had this jacket for at least 10 years and it's still holding up just fine. And I have a couple other Carhartt jackets that are about like designed like this, but one of them has a hood. Um, but I like wearing uh, this jacket just cause it's a durable fabric on the outside here. And so if you're getting caught on any metal or anything like that, it's, it's not gonna rip or tear as easily as something like like this will. And I carry this, the, these this jacket and these uh, overalls or bibs, whatever you wanna call them in the truck in case of an emergency. Um, especially at night, you know, I don't really have an orange safety vest to put in the truck and usually those become more of a hindrance than anything else. So if for some reason I break down in the middle of the night or I have an issue where I, you know, I'm going to be stranded out, out on the road for a long period of time and then the truck's not running, I can throw, you know, this jacket on and these bibs on and I can stay warm for when it's, you know, negative 20, negative 30 out or if I'm having to work on a truck out on the side of the road I can instead of throwing on my black jacket on I can throw this orange jacket on still have all the mobil mobility and not worrying about you know a vest flapping around in the breeze and everything like that and still be visible enough to where if anybody's driving past they'll see me working and you know lower the chance of me getting hit by a truck or a car that's ripping past me on the highway and the last thing that I haven't done yet this year because it hasn't gotten that quite hasn't gotten cold quite yet is i'll add a sleeping bag because this is my bunk in the truck so underneath the jacket there's my pillow my my normal blanket that i have um, but once it starts getting a little bit colder so in the next probably couple weeks i'll i'll have a a winter sleeping bag that i'll throw back here so that way if it does get super cold out and the truck breaks down even if the truck's off i can crawl back in here throw all this stuff on and I can lay in the back of the truck in my sleeping bag and be nice and toasty warm no matter how cold it is outside. And that way I'm, I'm keeping myself safe because on some of the parts of um, 94 that I drive through, you know, depending on the road conditions, weather conditions, you know, it could be anywhere from 15 minutes for, a, uh, you know, a cop to show up or an emergency vehicle to a couple hours if you're in a snowstorm. So you got to kind of prepare yourself for if and when something like that happens. So you got to think ahead, you know, if let's say my truck breaks down in the middle of a snowstorm where we're getting a foot and a half of snow and blowing winds, you know, if I'm in the ditch, how long can I survive on what I have in my truck? You know, I'm not going to really need food or water. That's not really that big of a deal. You can survive a couple of days without food and water. But when it's super cold out, you know, negative 20, negative 30 degrees out, yeah you're going to be out of the wind in your truck but that cold if the engine's not running is going to seep in really fast and you want to think of how you're going to stay warm in your truck and the best way to do that is have you know clothing layers that are as efficiently um that is are as efficient as you can i mean you don't want to be wearing a whole bunch of t-shirts so that's not really going to keep you warm but if you have you know something like this which is designed for hunting in the winter time you know, it's designed to keep you keep you dry and keep you warm at the same time. So that's why I keep these in here. And then, you know, having that, that winter sleeping bag system that's designed to keep you warm when it's, you know, negative 10 degrees outside, you combine those two together and you can crawl in your, in your sleeping bag and be nice and toasty and just kind of hold fast until emergency services arrive or until you get your truck fixed. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I figured I'd, I'd do a quick video since it's getting to be that time of year here. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you want any 
um, links to where you can find some of this stuff. Just let me know. Um, like most of the stuff, like my car stuff, you just go to the Carhartt website and you can order it from there. Um, or like my, my bibs and my jacket, you can just go to any kind of hunting um, store. So like Cabela's, Bass Pro Shop, Gander Mountain or Gander Outdoors. And you can find stuff, something there. That's what I would recommend doing is getting hunting gear. But that's all I got for you guys today. And hope you guys stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next one.